Hi, it's Lucy here, and have you heard of PET tape? I made these two quick cards with it, and they are so pretty in real life. I hope it translates on screen, but don't worry if that was too quick. I'll show them properly afterwards. This is the PET tape. It's from the washi tape shop, and there's so much of it. There's 12 different large floral clusters and smaller florals too before it repeats itself. I made the two cards so quickly and when I went to edit the video, I realized I didn't record it properly. So then that had me thinking, well, why not create another card and time it, seeing as these cards were created in a flash. So these are the beautiful clusters of flowers on this. I think this is called the blush one and of course i'll have a link to it below i've also got a discount code for you as well so use lucy patrick 10 to receive 10 percent off your order if you're interested in buying it and i'll have the code written in the description below the 10 percent off works for any items you choose in their store too Okay, so let's create the card and my watch shows it's 2.46 p.m. So let's see how I go. First, I'll roughly cut a piece of white card to larger than my card front so I can die cut it out. And if you're creating along with me and you don't have a rectangle die, you can always use your trimmer to cut to size as well. And what I'm going to do is cut a couple of these floral clusters off the tape itself and I'll fussy cut around them. I'm not going to be too careful because it's a transparent background anyway, so it's only got a little bit of shine. So there's no need to be exact when fussy cutting. I wondered whether to keep the whole 11 minutes of me creating the card in without editing or speeding things up, but I decided not to bore you with that. I feel as long as we see the start time and finish time and the important bits of the card making, that's what will be best for you to watch. I didn't have a definite idea when I started this card either, so I think this could have been quicker to make. So how is PET tape different from washi tape, some may ask. We usually know this PET material for being container material and things like that apparently, in a thicker style obviously. It's adhesive like washi tape and it's a little bit shiny. The main difference between washi and PET tapes is washi tape is more matte paper which sometimes has a milky white border whereas the PET tape has a transparent background, albeit a little shiny. I have a couple of other ideas at the end too, so I hope you'll keep watching. How pretty is that as a side border on a card? I feel it just needs a sentiment and it could be done, but I decided to change it up. There's so many ways to make really quick cards with this beautiful tape. You could potentially create dozens of cards with one tape. As I mentioned, these are from the washi tape shop, which is where the fall washi tapes I used in my recent fall washi tape video is from as well. And I also have some Christmas washi tapes I'll be creating with soon too. This is another design that I didn't go with as it's a bit similar to the other two I made and I wanted to show you something different, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Don't be afraid to cut the clusters in half like I have, which kind of gives you double the amount to create with. I move them around until I'm happy and this time I'll change it up again and I'll create another one of my favorite card designs. I'm going to use this gold card and I always tend to cut off the, the edge and then use the next part in just because sometimes you know it's a little bit rough around the edges so I've just cut a very thin strip of the gold and now I'm going to just roughly decide where I'm going to put these two clusters and I find the easiest way to get the backing off these tapes is to roll it try to go for a larger area or an edge like this and then you just roll back and forwards until you can feel it start to come apart from the backing and that makes it really easy. 
if any of it ever breaks off, it doesn't really matter. You can actually pop it back together again really easily and you can't tell the difference. So if you accidentally cut part of it as well, you can always just pop it back on next to it and you won't be able to see it. So now I'm going to put it through my die cutting machine and because my phone is recording above my desk, there's not a lot of room for my die cutting machine and maybe because I was on a time crunch, I didn't move the zoom out, but all I'm doing is die cutting the card front out and you'll see how it gives a lovely stitch detail to my card in a moment too. I'll cut off the bottom of the card. I want to have a straight border of PET tape, so this is the best way for me to do that. You can, of course, use your trimmer. I find my knife and ruler quickest for me, even though I know it's not the quickest way. I'm just used to doing it this way. So I'll use my double-sided tape to adhere the card to the card front, and I'm going to take off the bottom part the bottom strip of tape first that way then I can line up the top part on the fold and make sure that I've got it down perfectly then I can stick them all down and I know that yeah, they're all in place now my card for some reason was a little bit larger I make my own cards so occasionally I will have a discrepancy so I'll just cut off the side of the card. No one will know that they weren't the same size originally. And I find that I've also got the same problem with the bottom of the card as well today. So I'll just cut a little strip of that. But that's all included in the 11 minutes. So I think that we could make this a lot quicker if, if I tried. So now I'll just glue down the gold strip and then I've got a sentiment here, one I've found in my stash that I've had forever. And I'm going to use a little bit of the offcuts from die cutting that rectangle and cutting off the bottom. I'm going to use a little bit of that to then create a mounting part for my sentiment which will go down the bottom underneath and that way it'll all sit nice and evenly. This card is pretty much finished then all I need to do is cut off these strips the excess strips and then the card is done I think it looks really pretty. I may end up adding a couple of Nouveau drops to it but um, other than that I think it looks really nice. What do you think? Do you love these tapes as well? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It comes in um, blue shades as well and they have a lot of PET tapes. This is the only one um, so far that I've used, but I think I would definitely be using it again in the future. Look at this. So you can actually add them to glasses. So I've already tried this with a wine glass and I'll show you how I added that as well. But I'm going to put it on this tumbler glass as well. And it's very easy. This one went on perfectly as the glass is the same size all the way up. Look how lovely this looks. You can even add a birthday sentiment or other occasion for the evening. I'm not sure how well they'll do long term and in dishwashers etc. But I tried this the other day on a wine glass. Then a couple of days later I took it off to see how well it would come off. And it came off. There was a bit of, I don't know how to say it, like stickiness but not really, more markings. But I went and washed it with soapy water and it came off within a minute or two and it was perfect. You couldn't see anything on it. So if I was having a girly party, I would definitely add some pizzazz to my glasses using these florals, I think. They're just beautiful. The wine glasses are much trickier because they're much more rounded. A couple of solutions would be to use only the smaller flower clusters or use larger wine glasses that are more even in the middle section. This one here is a small glass and so it's not perfect but you can't tell. I even break a bit of the flower off and can easily add it back without anyone knowing. Well except you of course. <laughs> 
you can even add them to a reed diffuser as well. I think it'd make a really pretty card and gift set. That's just an idea for a birthday present. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked these cards and glasses and ideas. Please let me know. Don't forget there's a discount voucher below for the washi tape shop at Lucy Patrick 10 to receive 10% off your order. And if you go through my links, I also earn a small commission and every little sale that I get really helps me out and lets me continue my channel. So don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, if you haven't already. And happy crafting. Bye for now.